what a game yesterday, eh? Dai ragazzi! Hello my friends and welcome to this morning's update. I just had to do one because after last night's domination from Italy, three goals against Turkey zero could have been much more I gotta, gotta say guys there is so much to talk about so much and you know why because euros are finally here the opening ceremony of course we can criticize this 3d uh, graphics whatever that was coming out of the pitch on uh, on Stadio Olimpico that was just please don't do that again ever ever but then Andrea Bocelli arrives at the scene and this beautiful voice god-given voice it just opens up my heart and i almost start crying when i when i watch that i almost start crying because it was just so so beautiful and the fireworks and you know all these balls and then suddenly this lady just pure projected into the air like nobody's business like it's uh, zaza's uh, penalty kick against germany five years ago i mean mamma mia it was just so lovely it was just so freaking lovely you know what Euros are back and, and oh, football is back. I've had enough. I've had enough of these stupid rumors to be so uh, frustrated with the fact that we're not going to sign this guy, not that guy. It doesn't matter. Euros are here. Guys, Turkey against Italy. Uh, evenly um, start. I guess it both, uh, both teams started a bit nervously. But then as the first half progressed, we kind of, we, I say Italy, kind of, they took over the possession more and more should have had at least two penalty kicks in their favor mamma mia what is the referees are doing i mean what's the point of vr if they cannot even uh focus on those decisions man barella got absolutely destroyed in the penalty box should have got a penalty and the spin that's all across it is a handball my friends if it's on purpose if it's not on purpose this is a handball 10 out of 10 times in Serie A. Why it has to be different in the Euros? I do not get it. So guys, for me personally, I was so fuming after that first half. You know what? It could have been 2-0 up already. Could have been more just because we're so much better than Turkey. You know what? It didn't matter towards the end because second half, we switched out uh, Florenzi. Di Lorenzo came on the pitch. Um, and then it just started better and better and better. It got more and more direct. Turkey got more and more sloppy towards towards the well the hour mark. And then Berardi, whom I criticized throughout the whole game, of course, he made that assist. And of course, Meris Demiral. Let's talk about Meris Demiral, my friends. Arrogant clearance, in my opinion. Arrogant clearance. Why do you have to be so cocky and try with your chest, huh? Just clear the ball, man. Clear the ball. No nonsense. Chiellini would have never done that. Chiellini would have never cleared the ball that way. Maybe Bonucci would have been, but not Chiellini, my friends. Demiral just made a meal out of that, in my opinion. It was not... Uh, my commentators, Norwegian commentators, was like, oh, he had nothing what he could do. But that's not... It's a mistake. No. He should have done much better. Not falling on the floor like that. Just keep your body up. Clear the ball. If you clear the ball, just clear it to the corner kick. It doesn't matter. Don't have to be cocky. But it doesn't matter. Turkey 0, Italy 1, and it's steamrolling now. Second goal, another mistake. Uh, and Spinazzola, once again, a great game from the guy. Uh, shoots, the keeper saves that one. And Immobile, Ciro Immobile. 2-0 on the rebound. Chiri Mobile did what he does best. Mamma mia, what a goal. And third one. This is where Turkey just gave up, in my opinion. Uh, poor clearance from the goalkeeper. Um, and Italy just tiki-taka is all the way to Insigne. And the signature goal from Insigne, of course. Curling into the far bottom far corner this time, though. And 3-0 in Italy are steamrolling into the knockout stage is already because this was probably the toughest game for Italy. But never say never. It's not over until the fat lady sings. You know, because still Switzerland and still Wales. Whew, we'll see. Italy tend to be just, you know, to lower their guard when they're playing lower sides. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Mancini, it's a great start. 
this is a great start. And not only for Italy, but for the Euros as well. But for Turkey, my friends, whew, this is going to be tough. Both the fact that they conceded three goals, but also mentally, how they just gave up after that second goal, in my opinion. They became more and more sloppy. But my friends, Giorgio Chiellini, what a leader, still there, 36 years old, does what he wants, mamma mia. Locatelli, welcome to the international stage, Locatelli, huh? He will not cost us 40 million, it will be 50 or 60, so up yours, Juve and PSG and Man City and Barcelona, whoever wants the guy now. Oh, he had, he had a good game yesterday. Didn't think so much about Domenico Berardi, huh? I was a bit... Skeptical about him starting and I didn't think he was very sloppy yesterday And Federico Chiesa came on the second half on the left flank, you know my opinion about that and Mamma mia Bernardeschi Nokia 3210 Unupgradable What is going on, huh? His Juve form should have stayed at Juve not Not just go into it uh, in the competition with that form as well. Mamma mia, what a free kick, huh? Still, I can see the ball <laughs> flying, man. <sighs> Mamma mia. And of course, guys, still we have so much depth. We have so much depth. I mean, Belotti for Immobile. Lee Lorenzo can come in for Florenzi. Gigi Donnarumma probably just was there contemplating on life, what he's going to do with his 12 million, hmm. which house he's going to buy in Paris. Yeah, it's probably what he was doing. I mean... What else could have done? One! One attempt on target, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> All right, my friends. Whew, that was an exciting opening game, and it's only beginning. This is only the beginning. This is Therapy. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Get to the 2,000 subscribers because Cristiano Ronaldo home kit from last season is the giveaway once we pass 2,000. So get subscribing. We are going to do... Of course, they watch along tonight for the Belgium against Russia. See you then. Ciao. Forza Italy.